intro. Here we go. So it's going to be Metalopolis for Game 5 of Reddit versus D2JSP. Close positions on Metalopolis. Psy versus Kiyom. Psy taking out Faith in that last game with some really, really innovative investor play. And hopefully Kiyom is going to be able to take it back because, um, I mean, I want Reddit to win, and I'm not going to obscure that from you guys, but I would like to see a, a nice, long, drawn-out series. Uh, but Psy looks like he's having none of that. He just wants to win. Yeah, he's been doing incredibly well right now. Uh, the, the positions on the map are not favorable for Zerg. Uh, the rush distance is about equivalent to Steps of War. Uh, you do have a second, and then taking that third is really difficult. You usually have to take one across the map. Um, so Sai is probably not going to like this kind of uh, really close positions, um, but I'm sure he'll be able to figure out something. Uh, he was able to, to, uh, to deal with that bizarre Thor-Banshee mix, um, quite handily, so I'm sure he'll be able to, to react to whatever uh, Kiyom throws at him. Yeah, we see that he's not a guy who is um, really fixated on one build like some of the other Zergs out there. He's really a dynamic player. He can go 22 hatch for you, or he can go Idris style 15 hatch, 14 pull. So I really love this move from him, and uh, even he didn't respond the greatest to that Cloak Banshee play. I mean, those Cloak Banshees did get 18 kills, so that was really well done by Faith. Um, if you're listening to the stream, you played really, really well. Um, my hat's off to you. Um, but I, I think Sai, he, he's going to be okay because he just he, he knows not to expand when he's going to be under duress and pressure. So I think he'll be absolutely fine in a situation like this. I'm wondering what Kiyom's going to do because he is a little bit of an unknown entity there. Kiyom, evidently, is this the uh, is how it's pronounced. Kia, Kiyom? I don't know. Uh, E-H-H really isn't A. Kiyom. Sorry, I'm not even listening at all. Uh, size, size expanding. Um, and that was a fast expand, no gas yet. Uh, he sees his opponent placing his barracks in such a manner that we're probably going to see an add-on. Uh, probably Reapers in these kind of close positions. Uh, the main has a lot of ledges, and uh, you can do a lot of damage with a Reaper like this. Yeah, absolutely. And he did uh, actually expand really, really quickly, so I'm... I mean, it's sort of strange play. I mean, on Delta Quadrant and longer positions, he decided to get his hatch really late, even though it was against Protoss. Uh, TVZ, um, these kind of positions, I don't know if I really agree with his move. I mean, an all-in from the Terran player could just be absolutely devastating because he's going to be down on that mineral count. I think what we're going to see from Sai, though, is a one gas into Mass Roach like he's done in past games because it's just such a strong opening for him. He really knows how to transition out of it elegantly into something as creative as Infestor play. So uh, he does get that... Uh, base up and immediately made us over four more drones as we see a factory is going up from Kiom. So I think we're going to see some similar uh, Hellion play, opting not to get a reactor or tech lab on his base immediate on his barracks immediately. So I think we're going to see one Hellion come out, and I'm wondering what kind of push we're going to see from this player. Well, they're definitely setting up, uh, so there will be add-ons sometime in the future. Uh, there's a second gas as well. All right, so we're probably going to see a uh, probably a tech lab on the. On the factory, I I'm guessing tanks. I don't know. Um, Sai's gonna hook up again. He's gonna be able to see exactly what uh, buildings are there, so he sees both the things. And there's in fact a tech lab going down on the factory, uh, so it might be a marine tank push. Yeah, and uh, here we go. He is putting a tech lab on this, so that's actually really really interesting. I mean, he is getting a starport now, so he has a lot of a lot of versatility here. Um, it looks like he's not going to punish Sai all that early. And I'm kind of disappointed because I would have liked to see uh, maybe a 5 racks Reaper build or a lot more Hellions from one of our players here against Sai and see how he responds to that really, really aggressive Terran play. But right now we do see that a tank is actually coming out. So um, with his Starport act coming up right now as well, he's going to be able to get some Banshees as well for some harassment. But no, actually opting for the Vikings. So he's going to get a few snipes on some Overlords. Um, a pretty pretty nice and cute move right here. He's going to be able to deny some scouting information and... Uh, when a player of this caliber is who you're going up against, he needs to make sure to keep him in the dark as much as possible. As side parks that link at the bottom of the ramp, so just run in, check out the composition. Yeah, he did just peek up. Hasn't seen the tank yet, but sees the uh, the add-on uh, that is researching Siege right now. So uh, Sai has to know what's up. He's also sending in that Overlord right now um, to get that early scout. And that Viking is going to run away from it. Sai is going to see that Starport. Uh, so he knows that's a 1-1-1 opening. Ooh, as we lag out a bit. Uh -oh. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. And... Okay, very cool. 
Yeah, you know, why would Blizzard put like a surrender button directly in the middle of your screen? But anyway, we do have an overlord getting sniped, but it does get to see the starport. So he realizes no reactor, no tech lab on it, and it's got to have been out for a while. So uh, he should be expecting um, for the player to just expand like he is doing now and just sort of hold the line with some tanks, a few medevacs to support his marines and uh, go for marine tank push as yeah. the stream did go down, but it just restarted right there. Okay, so in the in the dying breaths of that overlord, he did see the beginnings of a command center. Don't know if he clicked on it, but judging by the size, he probably knows what's going on. Um, and then, of course, that Ling did die to that marine tank composition. So Sai knows what's going on. He's getting a spire in response, uh, presumably to get map control. He's also getting a lot more Zerglings as this Viking comes in to, uh, to scout and probably just be annoying in general to, uh, to see what it can do. Yeah, no, this is an interesting play because we do see that um, he is, uh, that the Terran player, uh, Keon here, or Keyom or whatever the hell it is, is going Marine Tank. So he is going to have enough Marines out to deal with Mutalist. So he's really going to have to rely on his micro and ability to position his Mutalist well uh, for this Mutaling strategy to work. But I like how he is mixing it up. He is going to take a lot of map control if he uses them correctly. And uh, those Vikings are going to become a non-issue very, very shortly. Yeah, and I like this move. He is parking himself outside of the base again, poking up there to see if there's anything up there. I would have liked to see him only send one lane instead of all of them because those tanks do have siege. And I don't know why they're not in siege mode right now. But um, he is going to be able to put pressure on that expansion and not make it a walk in the park for Keyom. Yeah, evidently it's Keyom. How to? That's how to pronounce it. Whatever. <laughs> um, the the kind of uh, oh no, siege tanks right as Ling surround him. Uh, they're forced to unseize yeah, right away. That's a really bad move, and then he unseizes them again, so, so they did absolutely nothing. That was horrible. He was managed to save two marines in that medevac, but as no, as as that was it, uh, he's in a pretty bad position. He's going to go for an octo drop uh, with a whole bunch of marines. Um, Sai is going to have six uh, mutilists coming out uh, very shortly. He's also getting plus one uh, attack, so um, going to go heavy on those mutilists. Uh, and it all is going to depend on how he defends against this uh, this drop in the rear. Yeah, and here we go. He is dropping eight marines. So um, Sai, he does have a beamingness going down, and Keon's going to see that. But he is a little bit out of position with his mutilus. Yeah, he is all the way up the field from the mutilus. So these marines are going to do quite a bit of damage. One kill on that, two kills on that. Yeah, killing a ton of drones and. Uh, He's really in trouble here. He's going to be able to just lift up all those Marines and leave. There we go. Nice micro from Kaom or Kiom or however you want to pronounce his name. Yeah, that CC just sits in the air because uh, Sai, in the meantime, did do some aggression with his Mutalist and just devoting all of his attention to Kaom's defense. And uh, Kaom just doesn't have a way to respond. Yeah, uh, all those tanks probably can't shoot up. Um, there's no engineering bay as far as I can tell. Uh, more Lings coming in and Kaom calling good game.